Hey everybody, Time Metal Head Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well this evening. So, we already know what the deal is. Tropics have been really becoming the talk of the town lately. It's pretty good. There's a pretty good reason why. You can see it right here, Bay of Campeche. This little hook over here between Mexico. We are now up to a 70% chance of development within the next seven days, and actually up to a 50% chance of development within the next 48 hours. So there is a chance that we could end up getting Alberto, which is the first named storm on the list for the year in this area in the red. And then after that, we have this little area over here that might approach Eastern Florida as well. We'll have to see that. That has a 30% chance of development within the next seven days here. So we already have two AOIs, areas of interest that we'll need to be watching over in the Atlantic already. We have an extra point over towards the Pacific as well that has a small chance of development. Well, I don't expect this to have much impact on anything in the short term, we do sometimes have to watch this region as well because sometimes remnants of these low pressure systems that are over here towards the Pacific can sometimes sneak into the Gulf and the Atlantic and get going as well. And then they would actually be considered Atlantic systems. So we do have to keep an eye on this region as well. In any case though, looking at the models, things are getting a bit more spicy. The GEFS or the GFS ensemble here is really starting to pick up on this now. Whereas before I was mainly seeing this more so on the operational runs, but now seeing that the ensembles are now on board, confidence has definitely gone up in the probability of some sort of tropical entity maybe developing over here in the western parts of the Gulf. So we continue to go forward. You can see these red numbers. That's our low pressure centers. And these locations are where we could see the probability of a low pressure center forming. The more of them that you see, the higher the probability of something forming here. That's what this model is based off of here. This is ensemble member pressure centers. So basically the red ones are low pressure here. More numbers you see the higher probability. Blue ones are high pressure. Low pressure usually is indicative of inclement weather. But in any case though, as we continue to move forward, we see our first disturbance right here. And then if you look over here to the right, over towards the east a bit, you can actually see our second area. Not as much confidence in that right now. I do think that that may change. I've been seeing that on a couple of different operational runs with the GFS and the Euro. Not quite as hot on the ensembles just yet. But I do think that the probability is going to jump up based off of recent trends. And then on top of that, a big reason why I think that this system is going to partially struggle is because we, we're going to have a lot of strong winds here. And that's going to be due in part to this area of high pressure here. You can see the blue numbers there. It's going to bring strong clockwise winds into the equation here. But it's also going to help steer this storm into land most likely. Well, I don't think that either of these systems will necessarily be strong storms. I do think that we're going to have a big rainfall threat, maybe inclement weather along the lines, maybe some higher winds. Can't rule out maybe severe weather from this, but I do think the rainfall and the surf is definitely going to escalate as we get towards the southeastern Atlantic here or the South Atlantic for the U.S., so to speak. And then also we have to watch, of course, the western parts of the Gulf here, maybe even the central Gulf going forward. Now, as we go beyond that point, I want you to pay attention closely to the Gulf and this little area here towards the Pacific side of Mexico. Watch this. See how this area in the yellow starts to really brighten up here, start to see those low pressure centers more. That is a somewhat alarming sign considering the fact that June historically is not necessarily known for being super active. The fact that we're seeing so many tropical centers or low pressure centers over these tropical areas already, given the way the environment already is with the waters being warm and nearing record levels at the Gulf already, and the anticipation of wind shear actually weakening over towards the Gulf as well, does, have, does give me some cause for concern. I'm not gonna overhype this or anything like that, but I'm definitely kind of side-eyeing this and curious as to what may come of this. As we get further along into the season, 
I do anticipate to see something a little bit closer to this given the forecast. But the fact that we're seeing this many low pressures this early definitely gives me some cause for concern here. Now, the thing is, if we go to the Euro, we're seeing a slightly different picture on some things like in regards to this upcoming system, the one that has the highest confidence in development, which I'm thinking is likely going to end up becoming Alberto. Good confidence in that. So we're seeing continuity between the European ensemble and the American ensemble, the GFS. So pretty high probability of that. Where it goes, a little bit different. GFS is kind of favoring a scenario where it goes more towards Texas, maybe even Louisiana. Euro is kind of pushing more towards northern Mexico. Now, as we continue to go forward, we're looking for our other system right here. Not really seeing it right now. But what I want you to pay attention to again Gulf of Mexico starting to see more low pressure centers starting to form here and we continue to see that we start seeing more action over here towards the Caribbean as we go forward too and this is showing a similar time frame right around to what the GFS ensemble is showing so like I said while it's not exactly a carving copy of the GFS which rarely do we ever see that kind of thing from models or ensembles at any given point let alone in the long range to see some sort of to see some sort of correlation between the two like this especially given the forecast that we've been given for the tropics this year i like i said it it gives me some level of concern i'm not saying that we're going to have any sort of apocalyptic scenario but at the same time it does intrigue me i'll put it that way but as we continue to go forward here and this is actually outdated we'll go to eight we're looking to get 18 z here so we can get a look at the wind shear and not much has changed with that we've been talking about this for a while this storm system rolls in of course the wind shear is going to help keep this kind of weak especially on that right side it, the storm's not going to really get a great chance at organizing like i said gfs is kind of leaning more towards southern texas for development but the thing is, if that other system does form, look what it does. This wind shear starts to weaken as we get towards the very end of the month here. And notice around that same time frame, if you remember, we started seeing more of those low pressure centers starting to pop off in the Gulf more. And with that lighter wind shear and already dealing with those incredible sea surface temperatures in the Gulf, definitely have my concerns with this. The good news is with this, like I said before, we're looking at a really long time frame here, 16 days out. But the fact that I'm seeing signals like that in June, which is not typically, not historically an active month where you could see a storm once every two years. Definitely, like I said, it raises an eyebrow to say the least, to say the least here. Cannot speak right now. But in any case, though, if we look on the euro, we're seeing a pretty similar scenario, at least starting out. Now, the track of this storm, of course, still is in question. But look at look at this trend right here. Notice that eventually the wind shear is weakening over here as well. So, like I said, I have my concerns in regards to what could lie ahead here as we go forward. In fact, the wind shear gets even weaker here, according to the European ensemble. So, like I said, there are some signals here that do somewhat alarm me in regards to what could lie ahead here. So, of course, as we mentioned before, there are other factors that come into play with the tropics here. But things do seem like they are starting to line up to where we are really going to start to see a real pickup in activity here soon. Let's hope that that doesn't happen, but we're going to try to stay ahead of the game here. So we'll go ahead and actually take a look at the Atlantic and sea surface temperatures here. And like I said, nearing record temperatures here. Got 30 degrees Celsius, which is pretty much closing in at 90 degrees here at this point, maybe even beyond 90 here. I can't remember the exact formula from Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion here, but we're well above the threshold in the, in the entire Gulf here as is. I think anything above 25 degrees Celsius, 
would be above that 80 degree threshold. It might even be more like 22. Like I said, I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. Can't think of it. But we're well above average on the temperatures here. Big factor that could inhibit systems would be wind shear. Like I said, over towards the Gulf, we're starting to see that weaken. As time goes on, we'll have to watch the other areas like the main development region, which is already looking like it's above average as well. So we'll have to keep an extra close eye as we get further along into the season. But already looking close towards home, definitely seeing some concerning signals here. But in any case, this is all I really got for this video. We're going to get more in depth as time goes on. And looks like soon we may end up seeing Alberto here. So if you're over towards the Gulf Coast, you're over, if you're playing a trip towards the Caribbean, towards Mexico, on the eastern side of the country, or just anywhere within the Atlantic right now, you need to be paying extra close attention here. There could be some inclement weather on the way here. But that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. It's been Tire Metal Weatherman. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time.